Hi friends, welcome to my channel and this is 29th video in Windows Server 2016 step by step tutorial and in this video I am going to show you how to configure and enable quota on share folder on Windows Server 2016. So basically uh, what is quota? Quota is a basically a set of a rule which we can define on a share folder or a folder where the user can get the limit of maximum storage as per user profile or username or a group this can be a based on multiple things so basically you can see on a, um, my this small uh, screenshot you can see we have a uh, uh, some quota template when we install a file server resource manager on 2016 or 2012 by default we are going to get the some quota a template so let me describe you what is the quota so uh, first thing you can see here the there are two types of quota type hard and soft so what is mean uh, the soft quota is basically uh, where the user is getting going to get the space like 10 10 TV uh, 20 TV but but they can exit uh, they, they can use the store the data which is uh, more than uh, their defined quota. So basically, when when they are going to reach the 10 10 GB of that size, they are going to get the email from a, a quota management um, FR, FSRM feature that we are you are using a more than uh, the space which is assigned to you. But the user can still access uh, increase this uh, store the data because it's a type of soft quota. So basically, soft quota quota does not dis, um, deny users to save more data it's uh, basically going to tell users like you are saving you, you have an administrator have assigned you 10 10 gb or 20 gb and you are consuming this much space so basically uh, administrator can force you to play, do the cleanup of your uh, share folder or something but uh, in opposite hard quota is a defined basically uh, like uh, if you define hard quota 10 GB then user cannot be able to save the data after 10 GB so soft so with the soft quota you can user can uh, save the data above the defined limit but the hard quota user is not be allowed to save the data so uh, it's it's depend on your requirement which type of uh, quota you want to enable for your user basically uh, the hard quota is enabled for employee who having who having less priority for your organization like a call center employee like accounts department hr department it department but the but the, but the basically a software uh, soft quota is defined for some high high level uh, management or you can say a vip user or the some uh, some uh, or some type of uh, VIP user like a CEO or CEO of company and um, some type of that uh, that type of employee which is highly um, like uh, in the high position high position in your company so so you, uh, you can't force them to um, limit um, uh, to any quota like like 10 GB or 20 GB but but you can see them like you are you uh, we have it defined you 20 10, uh, 10 gig of a space and you are consuming them uh, more than 10, uh, 10 GB so this is the behind what you can use and when you can use this type of software and hard quota so let's move so here we have a la uh, lab environment so in this lab environment I'm using four virtual machines basically the first virtual machine is Win2K12 uh, this is uh, Win2K16 DC01 which is my actual active Linux server if I go here you can see this is my Windows 16. This is the one. This is my active directory in the inner server. So basically, this is the main controller. And the second server is a Windows 16 FS01, which is my file server. Here you can see this is my file server. So and the second we have a two client machine win uh, win eight hyphen CL1 and win eight hyphen. CL2. This is my client machine one, which is running on Windows 8.1, and I have one more client machine. This is Windows uh, 8.1 also. So we have four virtual machines. So so we can go and install FL, FSRM. So I'm going to click on uh, Manage App Rule and Features. Click Next, and uh, this is under the File Server Management. So we need to go with the Role Business Solution. Click Next. 
is our server click next and under the file server you can see here file server resource manager so I'm going to take this click add features next leave the de default and click on install so this is going to install a few uh, take the few seconds only to get the FSRM installed so after then we can uh, start working on so before moving forward I want to just show you like we have a few basically two share folder on this file server so you can see we have one folder called user 0 one second folder is called user 0 2 so if I go now and, and see these folders so let's go to user 0 1 I'm going to just copy this path I'm going to map on my uh, client machine for now so I'm just going to map the network drive and going to map as H and click on finish so you can see this is coming around 1 100 GB and if I go and map um, one more drive here which is called user 0 to let H can see both is showing 100 GB because my folder which uh, there is uh, uh, where this uh, share folder is stored is a D drive you can see here and D drive having 100 gig a space so that's why it's showing 100 gig so let's enable now quota and see how it's going to work so now you can see the solution is succeeded we can go ahead and close this so now I'm going to click on tools and I'm going to click on file server resource manager so you can see we have a quota management here and we have a quotas which is enabled uh, so currently we don't have any quota enabled so you can see here also by default we have some type of hard uh, hard template for quota and we have some soft template for quota also so i'm going to create one new quota so just right click create quota and you need to uh, put the path so quota path i'm going to put my user zero one share and create a quota path and what you are going to use you can uh, select the template which is already created and you can go and define your custom quota template also so i'm going to click on custom quota properties so i'm going to call it like um, 10 gb users uh, users hard and i'm going to put here 10 limit i'm going to set the GB and here we have a hard or soft what you want to do so I want to set the hard quota for this and you can see here notification threshold how when and how you want to send the notification so add the notification threshold and you can customize the threshold value like 90% or whatever you want and you can see the send the email the following administrator so administrator can also receive the email you just need to put the email address of your administrator and send the email address user who exceeded the threshold so by default if the user having mailbox it's automatically going to generate the mail on uh, the report and send the uh, this uh, content to the user like quota threshold like 90 percent quota threshold exceeded so it's going to uh, drop the email also you have a select variable instance so you can type the what you want to how you want to set the mail and also we have additional email headers where you want to copy someone in a CC or BCC like you can select someone like the managers uh, and the manager of the that in particular employee or some a team who is going to manage this quota management so you can do this and I just need to click OK and you have an event log also so this is giving massive no SMTP service configure to send notification and storage reports by email so we need to set up the SMTP server for this so anyways go and if you want to run some command you can go for the reporting also so this is all what you can do so I'm going to click on OK and this is SMTP message again so click yes and here you can see we have a quota so I'm going to click on OK and create so it's going to ask me if you want to save the quota or no so basically you can go and copy this path and create and I can I want to save this as a, a template to use later on so go ahead click OK 
Now you can see for user 0 when we have created 10 GB hard quota. So if I go here now and if I refresh this, you can see it's currently showing 100 gig. And now it's showing 10 gig means the quota has been applied on this folder and it's become hard quota. That's why user is only able to see 10 gig. Now if I go easily here and just um, double click on it and if I change to soft quota again and click OK. So ideally user is going to uh, see 100 gig because it's soft quota. It's not going to limit the storage. So if I refresh now it's going to say 100 gig. So good to know that. So I'm going to just make it hard quota and this is all how you can make a hard quota so i'm going to create one more quota for my user 02 which is going to be a soft quota so click ok um, i'm going to custom define I'm going to use here soft and put like 50 gb and add we want to send your email so the admin and the will see the oh, uh, threshold click OK and SMTP yes and if I click OK now it's going to give you the like 50 GB custom quota so I need to put here 50 GB so click OK and create now you will get the this template name so create OK now you can see it's uh, coming to for user 0 to it's soft so it's having another column So now if I go here on user 2 and I refresh, it's not going to basically we have implemented the hard quota so it's reflecting there so we need to select the soft and OK. So it's going to not going to come again. It's going to give you the soft quota which is 100 gig. So if you go in template now you can see the template which we have created just so we have a, if I go to description you can see the 10 gig hard quota and this is also a hard quota so so this is all how you can install and configure the uh, FSRM role and you can enable and configure the quotas uh, for user profile basis so thank you for watching and please subscribe me for more videos and if you have any query any question related to this you can always post me on my given mail address thank you once again bye bye